Here's me sitting in front of you with the camera, and yeah. right now I should not see this right shoulder here, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you're doing your best. So from the back, I wouldn't want to see your front shoulder, mm -hmm. but I do. Or no, I don't see your front shoulder. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, from this view, we're talking about them not going this way, and, and we want the shoulders to be the same as your toes, so everything's symmetrical. But much better today. Uh, you kind of feel that shoulder go high too, don't you, when you do that, mm -hmm. which is good. So then, now watch how I move you. Mm -hmm. It's open. Now I can't see anything. See? Mm -hmm. So you got to feel like those things are pointing over here. Got it. Just no better word than say exaggeration, because that's what. Get out of the way, Dan. All right, so now from behind, Still the same. if we're doing, no, you're fine. Just now, I see how I see the top of your arm here, top of your front arm. Uh huh. See, now that's those are the things I look for when I'm back behind you. I want to see the top of her left arm there, which I I do see that. That means her shoulders are good. And again, now, in your world, you're thinking, I'll show him. Those shoulders are going to be over there. <laughs> I just got to shut him up. <laughs> That's good. You know? That's good. Good it's a good swing, swing right there. So yep. So that gives you an idea of where the club is, since you can't see it. And that's that's like that. that's a good position. Get back there, darn good. Probably one of my best swings ever. And we captured it. Yeah. It's a very good swing. That's exciting. Well, here's when you got to kind of watch that ball position a little bit. that bad. So here's where Dan starts looking at your right leg and your right foot. That's pretty good there. No sway. Good job. So now we talk about the iron swing. Okay. What we'll do now we we've got a here's here you got it up here where your tee ball is. So now I just told you you got to get it back here. And we talked about all the steepness that's going to help that too. Mm -hmm. And I just moved you. Okay, so mm -hmm. so if we look at steep picture from this viewpoint, we say up down on the same highway, the ball goes this, we make a V. When we're not so good, we make a U. <coughs> Where the club comes dragging in the ground too much here. Okay, so that's just some visual imagery there, right? And we didn't work on that till the end here. Let's get back are you? What was the last picture? Okay. All right, so see how you're going up and down? Mm -hmm. Remember I said stop it at four inches? Mm -hmm. That's excellent there. See, that's pretty steep coming back. Mm -hmm. And not to compare apples to apples, but if you look at your driver, See how low that club stays to the ground. That's still pretty low, even back there. Right? That's just your preference. But you get away with it more with the driver. I it's on a tee. Are you recording right now? Yeah. I'll tell you after. 
Well, tell me while, while we're recording. So up and down is, is what we're after. Okay. okay here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. You know how many years I worked on a U-shape? The one-piece takeaway, keep the club low to the ground. That's not bad advice for someone that does this. No, you got to go lower, Mary. You can't go so steep with your driver. That's not a good idea. Then you're going to come crashing down on it like an iron. Then we'll tell them. Do it Gene Riley. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's swing types versus what you're trying to do with the ball, and it's different when it's on the ground sometimes. So that's not bad advice that you got. It just doesn't work for somebody that hits behind it who comes in too shallow, that's all. That's girlfriend advice. And that's the old adage. I always say they're say you're getting a little bit forward in your ball position again. There isn't one universal tip that's designed for everybody because everyone has different issues in their right. swings. So if everyone has their own DNA. You've heard me say that a thousand times. Mm -hmm. See, I think that's too low coming back still. Mm -hmm. You were rehearsing it nice and high here, so that's better. But. That was a little thin, but we caught a couple of real good ones there. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the impact here when the... You just got to keep an eye on that. That's more forward in your stance than you think. Mm -hmm. It's not good for irons. That was a good impact. See that divot afterwards? That's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty, we got to show it again. Here's your perfect ball club impact. We hit, see, we're not going to touch any ground there. It's still coming in steep. Now you hit the back of the ball, not the ground first. See? Here's the, this is the picture I love to show people. The club is still on the ground, making the divot, and the ball is in the air. That's what the loft of the club is supposed to do. And that, ball, that club's in front of the ball, still on the ground, making the divot, and the ball's in the air. Then we've come in there nice and steep, hit the ball first. And, and this part in front of you is actually now the low point of the golf swing, which is it's kind of cool to see that, isn't it? That's a very nice swing there. So earlier we were talking about the driver and some distance. We were talking about the sense that we're getting our back to the target. See, now you got a pretty good job there. Backs to the target. Just got to keep that restricted. You can't let that start and float all over the place. back goes to the target, now the belly goes to the target. So the body's just doing... That's pretty good. A lot of rotation with the body, arms are swinging around the body, making the golf swing sound simpler than it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're better off thinking in those big picture terms, aren't you, rather than little technical stuff. Okay, well done. Short game next. Short game's just a matter of you getting out working at it, right? Yeah. That's the easiest thing to ignore.